Hello again guys, thought I would uh, make a small video. I want to talk about flushing again. You have, uh, if you increase your flushing volumes too much or having problem adjusting them, you get this or to the other color here, black. Um, I've, I've tried to use just the flush values to sort of properly adapt it, but as I see sometimes um, it is hard to get all the previous color out of the nozzle. And I don't know if this is an exact science. I am new to, <laughs> to a lot of things, but w what I have sort of noticed, if you have a, um, if you have like here in uh, in Orca Slicer, which I'm using now, and you have the flushing volumes option up here, you can set a value for flushing. The lower a value, uh, the higher risk of getting mixed uh, filaments. So if you're flushing between PLA and PETG, you will get a weak structure when you flush, so you should have that uh, flushed out as much as possible. Now, in some cases, I have found that I need to have a flush that is so big that uh, basically the poop chute fills to the brim and then two things happen either it flips off o okay or it uh, sort of it fills it all the way up and then it moves a little bit to the side and it fills up another chute and then it tries to click over and it drags the whole blob onto the build plate and it's a, it's a mess so what I found that for me works at least is that instead of having 500 as flush here I put 250 and I press OK between all filaments and then instead I go into support because usually you would have to have uh, supports activated to, to do something like this and I uh, uh, oh they changed it to the multi-material now uh, you don't need the uh, supports activated for this but you can have a multi-material and prime tower, uh, tower active now here you can see I have set an unreasonable high size in volume of the prime tower. So what I found is that if I have a low flush, just like just enough to get most of it out, then I can increase the build volume of the prime tower to be equal or a little bit above that. So if I normally had 500 or 550, I would set it to be uh, 250 plus 300 in the prime tower. What happens then is that it flushes to change the filament without getting like the huge blob in the poop chute and then it will try to flush uh, a lot of filament based on the size of the prime tower. So in this case you can see when, when, uh, when I look at the previous slice here you can see that it has flushed out a lot of yellow uh, which is gold in this case versus black and uh, as you can see under the black when it changes to black it to a, a big uh, uh, here as well and and what I found happens then is that it manages to empty itself on the prime tower before it moves on to the print because I had some issues here where even though I flushed as much as I could I don't know if you can see it on this uh, but there's like a line just above the the hole. Uh, see if I have a better. Here's a better illustration. Here's a better illustration. You can see here. That's actually a poorly printed version where it has mixed PLA, white PLA, PETG, and black. And so um, I found that if I instead of trying to purge everything through the um, flushing mechanism I just try to change as much of the filament as possible without letting it build up in the poop chute and then I just move it over to the prime tower and try to empty it there for the remaining amount that I would normally have had to flush it for and there is one benefit I find from this is that the second it is finished with the prime tower of flushing before it starts oozing out extra it will just go and start printing on the part you're supposed to print, so you you avoid stringing and everything. Of course, you need to set retraction and stuff to avoid the stringing. But yeah, so so basically, for me, uh, that has eliminated a lot of the problems with uh, printing. Uh, let's see if this is one. Yeah, so uh, I'm gonna show you 
the difference in doing that so let's see if I can get it onto the camera and show you on the big one I have only flushed and on the left one I have had a small flush and a big private tower so uh, for me that is a lot better than trying to get these huge blobs onto the build plate or filling up the poop chute and risk uh, spaghetti defects detections and stuff because it starts dragging it around the build plate so I hope that is a tip that can help you guys it will still waste as much filament um, but uh, at least you will reduce the risk of getting a failed print because it drags on the uh, poop shoot and, and stuff like that. Um, for people who say, oh, you shouldn't poop so much, you haven't printed with PETG, PLA, and stuff like that, because it's it requires an uh, enormous amount of flushing between uh, prints if you have a big difference in color. Like for me, I have black and gold, or black and white, uh, and then between different kinds of filament types. So, um, that is my tip. Bigger prime tower, smaller flush, and you get better results. Uh, even though it's the same amount of filament that you waste, uh, for me that helps a lot on getting better prints. So yeah, um, that was it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.